Howdy folks, video for Angel here, and together we are embarking on another Logic Pro X adventure. Last time we learned how to create a session and uh, create an external audio track, which is what this guy was. Today we are learning software instrument, so make sure that you've got your USB controller or a MIDI keyboard plugged in. We select software instrument. Uh, as far as your choice of instrument, just go with the default patch and press create. I'm going to turn this down just a little bit so it doesn't stab you in the ears. And now I am connected. This is my little classic electric piano. And this is what it sounds like. Ta-da! So now we have an instrument. I'm going to do some quick recording. Remember, we can press this guy up here if we want to, but another handy way to get started is to just press the backslash key. So the backslash key is going to basically be your recording button. Now remember, we've got the uh, four count engaged, so that means it's going to give us four counts before it's going to start, as we say, rolling, which means recording. I'm going to turn the click on so that I've got a nice steady metronome to keep me on track with the rhythm, and I'm going to press backslash to get started. Remember that four count and then we're in. Press space bar to stop. So now uh, you see this is highlighted. I'm going to click on it twice and it's going to pull up the piano roll. So this stuff down here is your piano roll. These are all the notes that I just played. And over here we have the uh, command functions for editing all of this fun stuff over here. So this is quantize. It basically just means, you see all these little lines? It's getting a little tighter. All these lines right here, here. Those are your beats, so that's your grid. See some of these are a little bit off time, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to just click on the space behind here the workspace, and I'm going to hold command and press the letter A. These are all highlighted now, so I've selected all. That's what that means. Command A, select all. And I'm going to go over here. You have the choice to go to quarter note, eighth note, half note, whatever pleases you. I'm going to go with 16 because these look like they'll all tighten up nicely to that grid. Press, and here we go. They're all on the grid. Now that's what this sounds like. I'm going to go back up here to this workspace. You see I deactivated that by clicking on the backspace here. So this is just your kind of area. If I was working in this area, it'd be down here. Click on that. So whenever you want to go to the different areas or regions that you're working in, you just click on them. Uh, so return to zero is uh, return or enter, and I'm going to press the space bar to listen back to what I just did. Clicking on that again. So now uh, here's all our stuff right here. Um, I'm going to click on the background again to deselect everything that was selected. And um, you see how I'm making it bigger and smaller? I'm scrolling in and out. That's basically just holding Command, Option, and uh, scrolling down makes it wider. Scrolling up makes it tighter. So I'm going to scroll in just a little bit more. Now you can see that these are different colors. And so what that means is there are different levels of velocity. And velocity, it just uh, it just means how hard you're hitting the keys. So these red guys right here, that's as hard as you can hit it. I'm going to highlight this long one right here. And this is where I would control the velocity. So now you see if I drag it down, all the way down, the lowest little poof of a note is one and it's purple. If I drag it all the way to the other edge as hard as I can press, it's super red. So basically, you can control how hard the instrument is hit. Uh, you'll find that it has a little bit of a different response depending on um, what the velocity is. So let's get it back to brown, which is where we were. And I'm going to click on this again twice. And the piano roll disappears. So now that I've got this loop, I'm going to actually create repeats of it. Um, over here, this is where the last note is, so this is where I'm going to cut it. So you can either drag this guy all the way back to 5, or 
you can press, uh, put the playhead where you want to cut, which is at the uh, fifth bar here. And I'm going to hold command and press T. It's going to ask keep, short, and split. That just means um, I might have gone a little long on this note, so it needs to cut through that note. It's just verifying. So you can keep it, you can shorten it to that area, you can split it so that it keeps going this way. I'm just going to shorten it. And then I'm going to get rid of this excess right here. All right, so now that I have all of this highlighted and I've cut my loop to the little four bar space, one, two, three, four, I am at the end of the loop. I'm going to copy and paste. So Command C is the copy and Command V is paste. So I just created a repeat of my loop and you can do that as many times as you like. Remember return to zero is return or enter. Now the trick that I told you with the scrolling, it works here too. When I'm in this space, I can go down, makes it wider, tighter. There you go. I can also hold Option and Shift, and it does the same thing. So uh, now that I've got this lonely piano, it needs a friend. So I'm going to create another software instrument. And you can either do that by going up here. You can select this guy, New Software Instrument Track. Or you can go to New Tracks. That'll open up that menu where we first were when we began. Or you can duplicate the track by holding Command and pressing D. So that just creates another instrument just like this one that you copied. If this track right here were um, an audio track, then it would copy the audio track. If this classic piano was a drum instead, it would copy that drum. So this is basically just creating a duplicate of whatever's up here. Um, but say for this one, I want something else. I'm going to go over to my library. Remember our friend, the library? It's all your virtual instruments. I'm going to go into a uh, drum machine and create a little drum loop. So now I have pulled up drum loop. So when you play your keyboard, you should now have little drum sounds. Cool. All right, so returning to zero, remember we have our four count in and the click's going to be going to keep us on track. I'm going to press backslash and off we go. All right. So once again, we have our four bars. I'm going to click on that twice, pull up the piano roll. Some of these are a little off grid. So again, I'm going to click on the back workspace. I'm going to press command and A to select all and quantize. Everything's nice and tight on the grid. Click on this twice to get rid of piano roll. And there we go. Let's create some more loops with this guy, dragging the playhead back to the edge of this one. Make sure that you are uh, highlighted here as well, because sometimes you can have this instrument but highlight this one, and then when you copy, it goes into that guy. You don't want that. You want it to copy down here. So, highlight this track, highlight this guy, drag your playhead, and then copy, paste, 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 paste. There we go. Return to zero. And now I'm going to get rid of the click metronome so we can just listen to what we have tracked. you have created your first little bit of loops. So have lots of fun with that. And next time we are going to learn about the mixer window and other cool things that you can do to edit the sounds that we capture. So until then, I'm video for Angel. It's always a pleasure and I'll see you next time.